Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a neat show for y'all. We're at the Galvez Hardware Store, and we're sharing recipes. We got four good cooks. We're going to be showing y'all four great recipes. We're also going to show y'all some of the neat stuff and new stuff that they have in the hardware store. And maybe we'll learn some good recipes from some of these guys. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all made it over to one of Cook's, David Kimball from Cajun Blasters. Uh, How's it going, bro? All right, man. Nice to see you today. Man, you got it smelling good. Oh, out here. awesome, bro. We're doing a little pork and sausage jambalaya for the Galvez Hardware here today. They sponsoring this, and uh, everything's turning out good, man. Now, what you got in there? Uh, I got the pork in there right now. It's uh, temple meat. Yeah. It's a little bit um, I like tender it. and stuff like that. It's a lot better. I like that versus the Boston Bud. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. Cooks down real good. It's a dark, dark meat. Darker meat. Yep. Get a good color out of it. Now, what you going to do next? I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to pull it out and put my onions in there, brown my onions and sausage together. And then just uh, get it right, man. Taste it a little bit and get it going. Awesome, bro. I'm going to let you get good. back to work. I We're appreciate gonna... it, bro. I'm ready for some jambalaya. Me too, dog. It's looking good. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. David and Jay from True Fab. How y'all doing? Come on, great. You? Doing fine, doing fine. Glad y'all come out to share some recipes. Well, thank you for inviting us. We are uh, looking forward to doing some cooking with y'all today. Now, what are you cooking today? We're going to be cooking a turtle sauce pecan. What? I love turtle. Yeah, it's, they, uh, they say turtle has seven different kinds of meat in it. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, turtle has seven kinds of seven different kinds. Now, uh, tell me the process of cooking a turtle sauce pecan. Now you don't want to take two or three pounds of turtle meat and uh, cut it up into approximately half inch cubes so that it'll cook tender and go a little further in your recipe. Then you take about a half a pound of tasso and cube it up as well. Gives it a little extra flavor, smoke flavor. Then we mix it all up. And then we're gonna bring it to a back to a bowl and then turn it down to simmer and simmer it for about 30 minutes. And we ought to be ready to eat. Our turtle sauce become we're gonna start with a roux. Um, a lot of people buy it in a jar, which is just as fine, but we're gonna cook one from scratch. Homemade morning. roux. A little oil and some flour and brown it, and then uh, we're gonna put some uh, seasoning blend in it, onions, bell peppers, celery. Right. Uh, once we get that sauteed and the vegetables tender, then we're gonna add some rotel tomatoes, uh, some tomato sauce and some crushed tomatoes. We're gonna let that uh, simmer for 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna put in our uh, pork tasso and turtle meat and bring that back to a bowl and then we're gonna simmer it for about 30, 45 minutes. Man, you got my mouth watering already <laughs> right here thinking about it. I, had tur I ain't had turtle in a long time. I haven't time. had it in a while either. That's why I wanted I to cook it. some today on your show. Where'd you get the turtle? We got the turtle from Hole in the Wall rest, uh, Seafood ah, over Hole in the Port wall. Vincent. They yeah, got, they they got, got all the them. neat stuff they over got all there. The, yeah, every, all the off-the-wall stuff you can't find anywhere else, they, they, they got it. Now, you've already got your roux going? I did. I got my roux going. So what'll be the next step for you? The next step will be putting in the tomatoes, uh, the tomato sauce, and some water to get it to the consistency we're looking for, and we'll let that simmer. Well, all right. I'm getting out the way and let you get to cooking. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, man. All right. 
All right, y'all, the turtle sauce becomes finally ready, and I got Kyle and Daryl out here to taste it, so they've given it the taste test. Y'all go ahead and we're gonna, we're eat it up. Give it a shot. Now, the turtle's one of them unique flavors that uh, there's seven different kinds of meat in a turtle. So you got from dark to white to light, the other white, the white. I don't even know the names of all the meat. It's good. Is it good? It's delicious. Awesome. And, and, and awesome. Good. I Very good. It. Turtle is a unique uh Kind of like you only get turtle with turtle, but kind of like a uh, squirrel when you eat squirrel, you only get that flavor from squirrel, you know. Yeah. And you don't get turtle often, so you you cherish the moments when oh, somebody yeah. will sit there and cook up a good old sauce. This is my first time with every. Is it? Oh yeah, I never tasted this. That's a good meat. I mean, it's, it's delicious. It's really really good. And them boys can cook. Over at True Fab, they can fly it out cook. They can scrape a skillet, y'all. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like it, and thank y'all for stopping and tasting. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, y'all made it over another one of the cooks, Kyle Blanchard. How's it going? Oh, it's going good, dude. Man, you always cooking something good. Yeah, so it's the best way to do it, huh? <laughs> what you cooking today? We're going to do uh, crawfish and macaroni and cheese balls. What? Man, that sounds good. Yeah. How do you, tell me the process of cooking that. All right, what we're going to do is we got macaroni and cheese that's already been chilled. You're going to take that, and then you're going to take the uh, crawfish, crawfish tails, going to saute them in butter. Let's get them good and cooked up for a minute. Then we're gonna take them out, put them in the crawfish, and we're gonna make balls. I mean, take the crawfish, put it in with the macaroni and uh -huh. cheese, make balls out of it, put it in the egg, and put it in the breadcrumbs and fry them. And then fry them. Right. Wow. Well, now where does this recipe come from? <laughs> I was just thinking about it the other day. I imagine they got plenty of people do it. That's some kind of jacked up macaroni and crawfish and cheese That's or it. something. Man, that sounds good though. I, I oh, really yeah. dig this. All right, bro, I'm gonna let you get going. I can't wait to taste that. All right, y'all got another cook here, Koo. Good buddy of mine. Yeah, How's it going? going? All right, everything's fine. I can't complain. I hear you. He's got KO Mobile Kitchen, y'all, and this man can whip up some good food. He's been on the show before cooking some stuff. And uh, tell us what you're going to be cooking today. Well, I have the uh, pork, pork egg rolls, which I did last time I was on the show. I did that. I think the people really like those. Oh, that's so, awesome. Uh, I'm hooked on that. Yeah. <laughs> so I wind up doing the pork, pork egg rolls again. I'm also, since I had the pulled pork, uh, which I smoke with hickory wood, I like the hickory wood. Uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna put that over some fries with some nacho cheese or some cheese sauce with a little barbecue sauce, which I make myself also with some uh, jalapenos. So it's gonna be like some jacked up french yeah, fries some, with all the goodness on it. Yeah, all the, all the good stuff on it. Now you're cooking something else too. And also, I'm just, uh, since I do, uh, I pretty much make all my sauces and everything, so I have the barbecue sauce. We're gonna fry some wings. And, uh, you know, toss them in a little barbecue sauce. It's uh, not too spicy, not too sweet, but it's a nice tasting barbecue sauce. I can't wait to taste that barbecue sauce too, bro. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna step out the way and let you go to making up some good food, bro. Okay. Thanks, right. man. All right, thank you.
All right, y'all, we made it inside in the air conditioner. It's really, really hot out there. And I got two lovely women here to taste the food. I got Taylor and Donna, and they're going to try some of Koo's cooking. Y'all dig in. Now, Koo has cooked the french fries, and he's got naked wings on it, he called, and he put his barbecue sauce on those, and then he took the french fries, like some people would take nachos, and he put the cheese on the french fries and the pulled pork, and he's got some jalapeno on there too, and a little bit of his homemade barbecue sauce on there too. Is it? It looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a healthy helping he sends out too. Mm -hmm. And uh, something really neat. Koo goes around in that food truck all around. And, and if you ever want to get in touch with him, just it's KO's uh, kitchen. That's something you would order at the uh, maybe at the fair mm -hmm. or uh, watching the ball game or or something. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice in here, y'all. We finally made it in with the air conditioner, and uh, you don't want to eat hot food in the hot sun, so we brought it in here to taste it. So y'all would buy it. Mm -hmm. Awesome, y'all. Good job, Coop. That's his homemade barbecue sauce he puts in there. Good cooking, Coop. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. TrueFab, a fabrication and welding service shop located in Gonzales, Louisiana. Committed to quality, on-time delivery per ASME and AWS codes with own staff CWI. Specializing in pipe fabrication, manufacturing, and specialty structural steel fabrication. Serving the industry with over 50 years of combined welding, industrial construction, and fabrication experience. TrueFab provides a cost-effective outsource solution for manufacturers. Simply put, our commitment to your satisfaction keeps you as a valued customer. TrueFab. Building industry partnerships. Fred's on the River, they meet River in Prairieville. Started as a bait shop and has evolved into a legendary place for music and dancing. The new double boat launch has been complete, with lots of parking for boats of all sizes. And the Food Mart offers convenient gas, food, and condiments for your day on the river. Happy hour 5 to 7, Tuesday through Friday. Karaoke every Friday night 8 to 12 with poo tables and video games. Band starts April 10th and run through the summer on Saturday and Sunday nights. Hope to see you at Fred's for a fun and exciting time. Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats now has more to offer. The same high quality seafood, live and bald crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gar balls, and local catfish just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products, homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. All right, Dave, you got the whole parking lot smelling out here. I hear that, boy. It is smelling good. They had them onions to do the trick. That's it. You got a good color. Oh, going yeah, there, got man. a real good color. Browned everything good. It all come out good, man. It's moving right along. We should be ready about 11, man. Tell me where you at. What you doing uh, now? Right now, I got everything in it. I just added my water. We're going to bring it back to a good little ball. Let it cook for about 20 minutes. Then I'm going to add my rice. Once I add my rice, I'll bring it back to a ball, popcorn the rice for about 10, 15 minutes. Shut it down, put the lid on, and Lock let it sit. Lock the lid on it. Lock the lid, bro. Let it sit for about 30 minutes, and we ready to eat. That's what I'm that's talking what I'm, about. That's what I'm talking about, yeah, but that's some good stuff. Jambalaya coming up, y'all. It ain't going to be long. All right, y'all. We got the jambalaya taste test going. David and Jay's going to try it. How is it? How did Y'all been working on it? Yeah. Let's see. It looks good. Man, that rice has popped up. Oh, man, delicious. Good. That's good. You'd buy that. Yeah, that's good. It's got to be using that temple meat. Yeah. Not everybody knows about the temple meat. Well, the sausage. 
got a good smoke player. Good, good, good. He cooks an yeah. awesome jambalaya, David, right. with Cajun blasters. I mean, he does a good job. Yeah, he does. A good color, good pop. Good job, Dave. Good job. All right, y'all made it back to Kyle, and he's got all his stuff ready to make the balls. Right. What I got here is the macaroni and cheese. I chilled it overnight just so it can ball up better like that. I'm about to go ahead and throw the crawfish in here. Uh-huh. So you're mixing the crawfish with cool that you yeah. smothered down. Cooled them down a little bit. Stir and then them up. You're gonna mix it up with the macaroni. The macaroni and cheese. And I know you got some Blanchard blend in there. Gotta have it in there. You do sprinkle. It's awesome on macaroni and cheese. Yes, so, indeed. If y'all haven't tried this seasoning, get out there and get it. I won many a championships using this seasoning. It's good on everything, y'all. It's what I use at home, and it beats all the other ones on the market. And it's it's uh it's all around. You use it for everything. Right. I won what from steak to barbecue. Man, to you got more awards <laughs> than I know of. Well, uh, so the, the the next thing is to make it into a ball. Right. And you're gonna go breadcrumb egg, or you go egg breadcrumb? Then to the breadcrumb. Okay. Okay. Just gotta make sure it's good and mixed up. You don't want to have a crawfish ball and a cheese ball. You know, you want right. both of it. You, you know? want it all together. Well, let's see what you end up with here. Cause I'm, man, you got my mouth watering. The smells y'all from that macaroni and cheese coming out of there and the crawfish. Well, you can't go wrong with crawfish no matter what. So here we go. go ahead, ball one no. And he does have gloves on for those folks at home. <laughs> German folks. So you don't want to make it too big then, I see. Nah. It's a smaller little ball. Right. You gotta work them, does. You gotta get it into a little ball. And he's gonna so roll it up. <laughs> Put it in there. Yes, indeed. All right, Kyle. I'm gonna let you make some of these balls up, get them going, and then we're gonna watch you drop them in the grease, and we're gonna taste some of these in a minute. All right. You ready to drop them in the grease? Let's see. Let's see. I'm stepping back. Oh yeah. So you want to be about 350 degrees on your grease. Drop them in. And what you thinking? I, don't, I doubt they'll float. They'll float a little. So you want to go golden brown. They're in the grease. That temperature down so quick. Right. Right. Put a few in there. Get them brined. We're gonna pull them out. We're gonna let them drain on the drain in here. Then we're gonna taste them. So, macaroni and cheese crawfish balls coming right up. All right, y'all. We got Kyle's macaroni and crawfish balls ready, and I got David and Chase who's gonna try them. Y'all dig in. All right, man. We're gonna try it out here. It looks good. It, it, it awesome. looks. Oh, I see the crawfish in it. Man, perfect. Wow. That's uh. That's something neat that I, I think Kyle come up with that recipe. Mm -mm. Can you taste the uh, crawfish in it? You taste the macaroni and cheese? That's good. Definitely, it is awesome, man. That's, That's something that you would eat? A, yes, definitely. Something you would try? Oh, yes, I'm gonna try it at home myself. Can you taste that Blanchard's blend in there? Awesome, man, good stuff. That's good eating. Good job, Kyle, man, way to cook. Real good job. All right, y'all, we made it back inside, in the air conditioner again. Yeah. And I got Donna, <laughs> Bruno, the manager, of the hardware store and we're in here and it's so crowded they got so much stuff in here y'all but we wanted to talk mainly about this uh it's called a cajun custom stand that we have a cajun stand um the the unique thing about this stand is that it can hold so many different size pots we have uh, this one you consider a medium it holds a 10 and a 15 gallon round and then it holds the flat bottom up to a 16 16 quart uh -huh. and then it also has a skillet you can put it on the top adjustment so there's two adjustments to this trick so you're not stuck with one stand right. one pot right the man, that's what we like about it you know the, you, you go to camp in and you it's it's really something you can take with you when you don't want to use a, a big pot you can use it for your breakfast in the morning with the skillets so, so that's really versatile you can very. take your big round bottom pot out slide the rods in which have two different adjustments on them mm -hmm. and use a flat bottom or a skillet or or, or even a big giant gumbo yeah, cooking a gumbo is fine 
There's there's one that we also have that it um, has a high pressure cup um, regular um, burner on it, mm -hmm. and you can use it for boiling too. Wow. So it's it's a very unique stand. We, and that's what's the thing now. That's the that's hottest thing going. On. It's lightweight too. It's definitely made out of aluminum. Got it. And y'all, they I have all the Yeti stuff here, all the Yetis, and they even color them too. It's really unique. Uh, as you can see behind us, she mm -hmm. keeps a big stock of Yeti stuff in here, and the store is full of unique stuff. Not just uh, not don't just come for Christmas. Come year round and get all your good Day, stuff. Yeah, B birthdays, all that good stuff. We will have it here, and we fill propane. Also, to throw that in. Thanks for stopping. I know y'all busy today. Mm -hmm. And I want to go over there and show them that smoker that they have. Yeah. Really unique. I really want them to see that. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Thank you. All right, y'all. made it over to the smoker section. And I, I told you came in here. It's really some of the unique smokers they have. They have electric smokers, gas smokers, uh, charcoal smokers, any kind of smokers that you can think of but this one caught my eye my eye is a sweet smoker of mine a swine cooker so you can really load it up with i guess your water trays in here really unique it's got different levels on it uh you can see from the picture on the box down here it's already opened up uh, but the the unique things about all these different smokers is the different size and if you want to use electric charcoal gas come to Galvis Hardware, they've got a smoker for you. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Lamar Dixon Expo Center, the crown jewel of Ascension Parish, supporting community development and charitable organizations. The center offers a wide variety of activities, such as outside show arenas, fully equipped barns, a newly renovated 4 H building, an Acadian style chapel. RV parking with bathhouses and large and small banquet rooms, just to name a few. Located in Gonzales and surrounded by hotels, restaurants, and great shopping venues. Come enjoy what Lamar Dixon Expo Center has to offer. Miss D Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro, now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees, right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories with essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. All right, y'all, something I want to tell all the viewers out there. Uh, I always wanted to do some garden stuff and do a neat garden shows and show gardening. But uh, the opportunity has come about now, and we're starting a new show 
Cajun Living and Cooking in conjunction with Taylor Fry Productions. Taylor Fry is going to be the host of the show. Uh, something y'all may not know or may have heard about that the Ascension Parish Schools received a grant from PCS Nitrogen. So they're growing gardens at 13 schools in Ascension Parish. And they're in conjunction with the LSU Ag Center and the uh, Master Gardeners and also Mr. Craig Roussel out at the Ag Center and uh, Miss Kiki Fontenot out at the LSU. And uh, they've all come together through the teachers and the schools and the show is gonna, the show is gonna be about these kids learning to garden in these raised beds. So they brought in the dirt, they brought in the seeds and, and the show will be airing, it's probably be airing right now, that uh, Taylor Fry will be the host and we're gonna somewhat teach the community how to grow gardens through these kids learning how to grow gardens through the raised beds and we're going to go through the rigors of planting and and uh, the disease and also the troubles that they have and then go through the ag center how to fix the troubles and then all the way down to uh harvesting the fruit from the tomatoes or cucumbers or, or even digging up potatoes and then i believe at the end we're going to do some cooking at the schools and the kids will get to eat it though so uh y'all be looking for that it's called growing gardens it's going to be on e-tail and it's going to be something really neat. You're going to have to check this out and learn how to grow gardens with the kids. All right, bro. You got a good recipe going right here. What you got going, bro? It's a uh, skillet, barbecue, corn pork. There's some onions we chopped up. Uh -huh. And we're going to throw some sweet baby rays in there. Throw it on the skillet, saute it up, put it on the bun, and See what it comes out. Sounds like it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. So, you started out with a full balsam bucket, cut it up. Two onions, cut that up. Season them up, brown it down, add the baby rain. You can't forget this stuff right here. Oh, the blanks. The blanks. That's good stuff. Put that in there. All right, y'all, he's fixing to put it in the skillet. We're going to be eating some pork pork sandwiches here in a minute. All right, y'all, I got one of the patrons here from the hardware store, Mr. Ellis Paron. He's trying to pull pork sandwich we got, so he's fixing to give it a good old bite here. Man, it's, they got more pulled pork on that sandwich than it can hold, I'm gonna tell you. How is it? It's delicious. It's good? Good, yeah, it is. It's got the sweet baby Ray barbecue it's sauce. Real good. It's something you would even buy. I sure would. You'd yeah. eat more than one of them. Right. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Ellis, for stopping and tasting. Thank you. All right, y'all, we had a great day out at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. We got to look at some of the neat stuff they have in the stores. We got to eat some really good food. I learned some cool recipes. Hope you picked up on something. And I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. And then check us out on Facebook and on YouTube. And we'll see y'all next week.